Hmm? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Define 999 here, uh, aka Matt Royball. Um, so I've had some people ask me some questions about how I store my comics. And um, I use a system that is very effective. It's expensive and very anal, but uh, the way I see it with my comics, um, if it's worth being in my collection, it, it's worth the money to, to, at least for the ones that are, you know, more valuable to me to store them properly. Here, sit down, baby. So, this is how I do it. Okay, so the best comic supplies can be bought from E. Gerber. They have a website, and they are, uh, I think, the top of the comic supply chain as far as quality and product. And so to start off with... Colin's this nice haircut, Uncle. Oh, thank you, Colin. Sit down, baby. Sit down. To start off with, I get the E. Gerber fullback. This is the thickest board that they have. It is pH neutral. Um, pH is an interesting thing. If pH is too low, it is acidic pH is too high, it's alkaline. Okay. Or I might have that uh, flipped around, but I believe 7 is around right in the middle. Mm -hmm. So pH neutral is what you want. These boards will not uh, off-gas acid onto your book. Ken and says hi, Matt, with the parenthesis Y. Oh, Ken? Hey, Ken, what's up? Colin, what's up? Um, so... These are the thicker boards. They're actually 42 mils thick. These are the E. Gerber fullbacks. Then I go with the 4 mil E. Gerber Mylar Archive. It is the silver golden. What? What happened? Nothing. It is the, um, the silver golden size. And it's the size that fits the 4 mil bag. I'm moving a lot. It's okay. Just sit down. Okay. Sorry. No. Um, now... What I do to work with my system is I take the flap on the top and I either use scissors or a cutting board and I chop that flap off. And you'll see why here in just a second. So now you have a Mylar Archive, which is 4 mil, and a fullback, which is 42 mil. And this is Mylar D, totally inert, does not have acid at all. Cat, off the, t off the table. Jim says hi. What's up, Jim? Okay. So... This is the, the starting point. Now, in my system, because this is such an expensive system, I can put two comics in there, in each sleeve. Now, I'm going to do something interesting here you might not realize. So, this is the top. Here's your sleeve, silver golden. I'm going to put the comic in there backwards. Okay, so I have a awesome Greek key here. And I'm going to put it in the sleeve backwards. I put it in upside down, and I'll explain that in a second. Well, there you see that. It's in there upside down, openings on the bottom. I also have another very, very special comic here. It is the Italian 300. Awesome comic. What, what's it called then? This is called Lomo Ragno, number oh, 91. I thought, I thought the black Spider-Man doesn't shoot out black webs. What is that? Well, that's uh, grayish webs that McFarlane chose. Hang on, is that, is that Venom Spider-Man? This is when the symbiote was... No, that's Venom Spider-Man. Spider that's Venom Spider-Man. Well, it is, it is Venom in a sense, but Spider-Man has actually got the symbiote, so he's got the black costume. I'll explain more of that later. <laughs> anyway, so Italian 300, the best of all the Italian... Can uh, you read it? The best of all of the uh, foreign 300s, in my opinion. And again, I'm going to put it in backwards. Now, you got to be careful because this, this was cut on the top. So there is some risk that on, on the mylar that you cut, that you could, especially with older books, you could do damage. So what I usually do is I get them in there as good as I can. Hang on, that, is that even spiral? That's, that's spawn, maybe. Hold on, Daddy's trying to talk. So... Knock it down like that. And so it appears that it's upside down. But when you actually go to store it, it won't be. 
So the opening's on the bottom for both sides. It has two comics in it. Are then we go. Store, then are you gonna store those co these comic books? Am I gonna store them? Yeah, of course. Like I do all my Am stuff. Am I gonna? How how are you gonna store them? Oh well, they're stored in our room, baby. I thought you were gonna store. In, I thought you were gonna give them to other people. Oh well, sometimes I do that. But we, are you gonna do it to my comics? No, we're not gonna get rid of your comics. I promise. So. What we got next is the MyLight 2. This is 2 mils, and this is a full Golden Age size Mylar D. This is 2 mil. So then what happens is your book, and you have to decide which one you want to be on the front of the flap, goes in upside down with the open side on the bottom, like that. So what you end up with is you have your silver golden 4 mil Mylar archive with full back and the openings on the bottom. I do that because I want the opening on the bottom. I don't want it on the top. That helps keep even more uh, protection from the environment. Colin, and then, what does Colin say? Oh, I said he is being adorable. Oh, he is being adorable. Stinker. Especially when <laughs> daddy's trying to talk. Um, okay, so I leave the flap on this and I use this type of tape. This is a very specific type of tape. This is a Scotch brand. The pH is above 7, so it's a scrapbooking tape. The reason why is you want it as pH neutral as possible. And you do not want tape near your comics at all. If they have to be near comics, then you don't want them to be that cheapy stuff because it's acidic. Now, the beauty of this system is we all know about the infamous tape pool. There's no tape anywhere near this at all. There's no tape. All it is is the, the slit on the top and the books inside. The tape, which is pH neutral and double-sided, is on the exterior bag that this one goes into. That's the genius of this system. And many people think it's overkill, but with, so with my it. stuff... I don't care if I'm anal about it. That matters to me. Total of six mils, because the archive is four mil. The two mil, my lights on the outside. You've got a total of six mils of mylar protecting it. You also have the full back, which is pH neutral and is the best backing board on the market. Mm -hmm. And I can store two foreigns or any other books in this system. Now, don't forget your pH neutral tape. And you can do this, most comics will fit in here. You know, this is an Australian Spawn 1. And I forget, yes, I think this is the finished Dracula. I get the that name is the Dracula. All messed up. Joshua says I need to get me some Mylar goodness for my new Italian 300 and others. Good system, by the way. You need to. This is, and it works just as well for American books. This is uh, Ghost Rider 81, the last Ghost Rider issue. And as you'll see, um, same system openings on the bottom. It's still not completely airtight. You don't want your books completely airtight, but uh, atmospheric wise, the, in order for contaminants or pollutants to get to your comic, it's got to get through the first bag, then it's got to go to the bottom and up into the second bag. And so it, it makes a lot of sense. And all my foreigns end up like that. There's a Filipino, Weird Western, number 12, and this is... Um, the third appearance of Jonah Hex, I believe. And um, anyway, so that's the system. Now, costs. It's expensive. It's not cheap. But if you love your comics, you're going to pay money, right? So these are on from the eGerber website. The archive on the interior is the 4 mil Mylar archive. It is item number 775R. It is silver slash golden. That's going to run you 20 bucks for 50 The fullback, which is 42 mil is item number 750FB. That's going to run you 1050. Then the MyLight My Light 2, which you could consider is the shell of the system, is uh, the 2 mil Mylar 2. That is item number 800MR. That is a full Golden Age bag. So all of, that's $12. So t in total, for 50 packs of all of those, so to pack 50 single comics, or if you double them up, 100 
comics, the total comes out to forty-two fifty plus tax. Significantly more expensive than just your normal cheapy bag and board, but it's in mylar. They look great in them. You can sort of see the outside shell and the inside. Dave and says my cousin Matthew Roybal got me into comics. Great <laughs> info, Mateo. Thank you, Gabe. Is this uh, my cousin Gabe? What's up? Gallegos. Yeah, that's Gabriel. You know Gabe. Yeah, of course I do. Okay, so Can my son's you? rabbit also... No, it's a bunny. Oh, his bunny. His bunny also reads comic books. He so, has one. Okay, let's see Bunny's comic book. Doesn't Bunny got to talk? Yeah. Okay. I got you animals. What comic is it? Oh, Zoo Animals. Yeah, that's cool. And if you walk right here... Is Bunny talking or you? Bunny is. Oh, Bunny's talking. If you see... If you hear this voice... Oh, yeah. That's, that's Bunny. Okay, Bunny. Yeah, Bunny's crazy. Um, and, um... And right there, there's a tiger. And then... Right there, a polo bear and a hippopotamus. And then the dish. Hmm. Colin this says I love this so much for so many reasons. <laughs> and then, and then I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, we're going to hang out, Colin. i got to make it to Albuquerque. Okay. And Nick, we see the gorilla. Nico. Ni what? Nico. Nico Boy? <laughs> I don't Nikolai. know. Nikolai. Yeah, Matthew, I do something sim similar to some of my books, but only for one comic and two times. Two mill bags, inner equals upside down, but without cutting the flap. Oh, there's ah. more. Yeah, see, cutting the flap is, it's a little risky, like I said, when you're putting the comic into the cut on the top, you, you, you can run a risk of damaging your book, but once it's inside and it's in safe, you know, I very rarely take them out. Um, now could button talk. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to read this to you. No, well, no, that till, that'll take too long, baby. No reading. No, if no, you yeah, hear a scratch, yeah, place a silk pages. paper between the comic and the cutoff flap. Ah, yeah, that's, comic. That's, that's, that is a good idea. I've the never thought to do that. Board? That's a really good sounds idea. Good. Yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. I've never thought to do that. But yeah, you could do that. If, it, if, it's really, if you're really afraid, you could slip something in there as you slide it in, and that would, that would work. Okay, uh, is Bunny done so we can talk about your new death stroke? Elephant. Let's talk about your comic now. Yes. Bunny is a screen hog. Tell him to to go 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 find a place to sit for a little while. Tiger. Go to the comic book store the other day. Now, Sebi doesn't have quite as an advanced system. He's still using tape and normal bag and board, but. Hopefully, we will graduate him at some point. This is still the bag and board from the store. Show him your new Deathstroke comic. Deathstroke? Blood of the Bizarro. That's a cool panel, huh? Yes. That's the splash page. But, no, it's not. That is a cool panel, though. And I like him. He's cool because... He... he Lex, that is Lex Luthor, but that's, yeah, that's, I don't remember. but that's Lex Luthor's armor. Oh, okay. Lex Luthor, that's Lex Luthor, and he has armor, and he has, like, a different type that of armor. like, army, isn't it? Aren't those, like, some clones? That, Colin says my dad taught me to read by using comics. That? It's a good way to learn to read. I mean, and kids love comics, so that's the way to learn to you know, to help teach kids to read. We've been working on that with Sebi. Yeah. In fact, read some. Can you read something? Let's see. What does is, what is that say? Cool. Yeah, that's good. Hang on, wait. And um, this is a type of Lex Luthor armor. And look at I think that's Deathstroke's daughter, right? Yeah. But what was that those one? Those are those bizarros. Yeah, but what was that one part where? Which part? That one part where the skull guy? Oh, I think it's towards the back. Deathstroke's gonna be in a movie. In the new Batman movie. I wanna go see. Well, we're gonna. Your phone doesn't have that much battery left. 
Where is it at? It's probably at like 6%. Okay. Oh, what there it is. Yeah, there he is. Show him that. Th this, so. You gotta show them, baby. So this guy is the same posting of. Is he? I thought he was a different dude. He's the same because look at the shadow. You'll see the shadow. Oh, right there. Yep, there he is. So there, there he is. There he is. And look at look at the same shadow. Who is that? There he is. What the? Looks like the stroke got shot in the shoulder. Here, show him the, the guy. He's the same guy as this. Because it he has the same thing. The, the lawman. Okay, we gotta finish our video because my phone's about to die. Tell tell everyone in the internet world tell but give tell Bunny to tell him bye. Have Bunny tell him thank you. Ah! No, they can't see him like that. Tell Bunny to tell him thank you for watching our comic book uh, tutorial on how to spend, spend a bunch of money storing the damn things. Um. But don't say that bad word. Yeah, don't say that, Bunny. <laughs> tell him. Thank, thank you. you for watching my comic book live show. <laughs> okay. See you guys hey, later. Um, if you have any questions, you can, talk, you can message me.